It's that time of year again. The Prairie View Athletic Club, in support of Prairie View Athletics, will be having their annual raffle ticket fundraising event where you have a chance to win $1,500 or $250 in gift cards. You can get raffle tickets for $4 or you can get a book of 10 for $35. You will also get a chance to show your Domino experience for the first annual Domino fundraiser for the Prairie View Athletic Club in partnership with the Panther Support Network. That will be on the campus of Prairie View A&M University during the weekend of spring football purple and gold game in addition to the PV relay. So it's a whole lot in store for you where you can get a chance to show your support both ways. The annual fundraising raffle event and the first annual domino event for the Panther Support Network. For more information, please feel free to get in contact with Mr. Greg Austin. He can be reached at 713-562-8100. Eight one. You can also reach out to Dino Robertson at 713-417-2090. It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another production here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news you can use. Today is no exception to that rule. Follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. You can join in with us on our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. If you're into a old time content games from throwback visit our website obnradio.com and check out our 24 hour stream and you'll have all of that plus some hidden gems of interviews that you won't get on the top surface of the network and with all that being established let us jump right into today's episode well day one is in the books for the 2024 Southwestern Athletic Conference Basketball Tournament from Birmingham, Alabama. We saw four games on yesterday. We'll have another four scheduled for today where the Panthers lost to Jackson State on the women's side of things. So the Panthers are done for 2024. But perhaps, not perhaps, it is. The upset thus far of the tournament Alabama A&M knocks off all corn. The number seven seed Alabama A&M knocked off the number two seed. So all corn season has come to an abrupt end and they'll be heading back to the reservation to try to figure out what went wrong. Meanwhile, the Lady Braves will take flight this morning as they'll take on the Southern Jags to tip off today's action. Once again, you can catch all of the action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network in the audio format. Lee Hall, Joshua Davis, and Coach Van Petaway giving you all the play-by-play action. In case you missed those games live, you can always go to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network and listen to all the games throughout their entirety. Now, last week, we brought up that there was a proposal for shifting the dynamics of basketball content as we've known it for so many years, and that is doubleheader on Saturday, doubleheader on Monday. But now it is indicating strong, strong possibilities that there's going to be a new way of doing things. And we talked about it uh, last week, as we mentioned, on Thursdays, they're projecting to have women's only basketball broadcast. On Saturday, you'll have your traditional doubleheader, women and men. And then you'll close out on Monday with the men's basketball. Now, you can look at this situation as the glass half empty or half full. Here is where it is half full. Sometimes those late games for the men, in this case, they start 7.30, 8 o'clock, and by the time it's either Monday or Saturday, they end so late that it makes it real hard. 
A, on the team that is traveling and on the staff that has to do this. If we look at it from a realistic and logical standpoint, our programs are understaffed. So you have one person doing multiple things and then they're expected to come back to work the next day and do what needs to be done. But that's kind of part of the territory. They should have walked into the situation with their eyes wide open. But meanwhile, let me get back to my point. With that particular structure, okay, it could wear and tear on you. Now, here is where I see it half full. Or did I say half empty? Whichever the case, you know what I'm talking about. When you go to this one-to-one format is what I'm calling it, the women on Thursday and then the men on Monday. I like the fact that you can start those games about 6 p.m. on the tip-off, which would be a decent time where you can get out of that gym at a decent hour. Uh, There's less wear and tear on the travel for the opposing team. However, when we look at it being half empty, the challenge now is going to be decisions are going to have to be made on, in this particular case, radio or just any type of streaming coverage for that Thursday and that Monday game. Now, we know that Title IX is real and, and, it, and it's not going anywhere. I would see it being very difficult to try and explain on not doing the women's game on Thursday as a standalone production. I can see you doing the double header, but then you can't do the double header, not do the women's production and not and then end up doing the men's production on that Monday. You're going to have a particular problem. The logical solution to all of this and yes it's going to take a little bit more investment might be time to start getting two broadcast teams one for your women's program and the other for the men's program they do it on the quote unquote big boy scale and it seems like we're always trying to keep up with the big boy scale so if you're going to follow that suit then you need to follow that suit properly now don't sacrifice the, the the opportunity for having people who do appreciate an audio broadcast. And regardless of what the trends are saying, the, the numbers show that people, in particular, the African-American community, is very well uh, uh, in tune with audio production. As a matter of fact, um, radio, uh, uh, radio survey showed that 89% of African Americans between the ages of 25 and 54 are engaged in audio format on a daily basis, whether it's AM, FM, some type of podcast or stream. So the audio is not going anywhere. And we know that video is popping and trending, but it, that audio is a stapler in the African American community. So then how will you address that If you go to this format, it seems like this format is pretty much a slam dunk, signed, sealed and delivered. We'll keep a pulse on that thing to let you know how all of that unveils. Meanwhile, on the baseball diamond, the Panthers get ready to open up conference series play from Arkansas Pine Bluff. They're scheduled to take on the Golden Lions Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We'll give you all the updates as those games develop we are getting ready to exit stage left as we make preparation for day two of the southwestern athletic conference of course coming from birmingham alabama with lee hall joshua davis and the guru coach van petaway go to the website obnradio.com click on the listen live link and enjoy the broadcast from all day long we'll give you all four scheduled games for today starting at 11 a.m central time i am the radio guy dr mike prince thank you guys so much for joining in with us don't forget to follow me on x at the mike prince show subscribe to their youtube channel at the open mic broadcast network and until the next time 
You guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.